Yeah, 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 yeah. As Juan Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Look at the beautiful scenery. I had the pleasure of running. Ooh, woo! Woo! Look at that, look at that, look at that. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Wake up and go get it. I actually ran with a brand new run group this morning, according to Saturday, July 6, 2024. Run group that is known uh the name of the gym is actually pure vita and we're about to jump in the cold plunge cold water in a couple minutes that was how you do it <sighs> in a couple uh, a couple hours here which is what made me want to try them out so i'll do a full video on this explaining everything maybe tomorrow it depends on when i get to it but they basically have a have a gym that is primarily a sauna, cold plunge, and a way of attracting minds like me. They decided to create a group run here at Bradley Park in West Palm Beach on Saturday mornings. And I'm like, I'm all for all about it, all about it, right? So as far as today's move swiftly thought, take you back 48 hours ago. It was July 4th, Independence Day, national holiday, where you can assume that the majority of people who had to go to work that day we're not too excited about it, all right? Depending on what you do, you know, I obviously I work every day. I got a lot of things done that day myself. I did some work myself in my business. Uh, but the businesses that were open, the people who are working at a nine to five, working a job, their businesses were open and all that stuff. They actually, you can assume that the majority of them were not excited about actually being at work on that particular day where you got all these things going on, parties, barbecues, all that kind of shit, right? So. Today, I gotta talk to you about how your attitude, your attitude is so important and it's your attitude that rubs people. The positive attitude that you have, that you are able to create is what gives people the want or the need or the, the attraction to make it so they remember you regardless of what you do, all right? Here's an example. I was at, I went to a fresh market, which is kind of a high-end grocery store that serves just some incredible, like just incredible incredible meals and I, I can't go maybe I can't go two days without getting a meal from fresh market they're kind of like a whole foods however a little more they have a little more of a of a premium cut to their food so to speak right they, they have a lot of a lot of classy things you know there's a lot of quality food we'll leave it at that a lot of quality food right so I always go there and I wasn't sure if they were actually gonna be open on July 4th so I went there to get a meal and and Fortunately, they were open. They were open for business and all that kind of stuff. And I, you know, I was joking around. There was a guy who was serving the meals. He's a black guy. And I was kind of joking around with him saying, look, they're making you work on July 4th, man. That's what's up. And instead of him complaining and venting to me and all that shit, like you would have expected, like some people did that day when I went into businesses and all that kind of stuff, he just kind of put his head down. He goes, look, you know, at the end of the day, I could be at home complaining about the fact that I don't have a job or I could just, you know, shut the fuck up and go work on July 4th, go work on Independence Day when everyone else is off and be thankful at the fact that I have a job as opposed to complaining about the fact that I have to work on July 4th. And I want I want to pause it right there. I want to I want to make sure you guys understand the importance of how the attitude of this individual who's sitting there or is at work on a July 4th and has that kind of mentality towards work, that is what's going to get you to the top. It's not going to be the position you have. It's not going to be the amount of dollars you make at all and all the things that are so easy to recognize or so easy to kind of aspire to be. It's going to actually be your attitude at work. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> attitude at work. <laughs> It's going to be about your attitude uh, when you have to work on a day like July 4th. It's going to be the attitude. It's going to be the measurement. It's going to be how that's how people are going to measure if they want to work with you or not. And you better believe next time I go in there, I'm going to forever, regardless of if I ever see him again, I'm going to remember that person. I'm going to remember his responsibility. I'm going to remember how he just approached that day specifically when it comes to him needing to work on July 4th. And the reason I need to explain all of that to you, give you guys as much context as possible, is because I want you to actually yourself how am I showing up at my work how am I showing up at my job how am I showing up when it comes to the things I do do I 
Do I bring a presence of positive mentality, of a positive mentality where people want to work with me, where if I'm around a total stranger, they want to, you know, come back for more? Or do I have this negative spirit when it comes to the work I do? And do I, am I taking the fact that I have a job for granted? You don't want to be the latter. You want to be the person that's actually creating a positive attitude. And like this gentleman said, had the perspective to say, yo, you know, I could be complaining about the fact that I don't have a job and he didn't do that. All right. All that being said, main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work, makeyamove.com. That's M-A-K-E-Y-A-M-O-V-E.com. One-stop shop for all your teamwork and your self-development needs. As one Crookshank, you want and only move swiftly speaker checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.